What's going on everyone? It's Bucky. Welcome to your 31st Python tutorial. And in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to create a tuple or dictionary using parameters. But you can also do something else that's kind of neat. And you can gather information from tuples and dictionaries and use that information as your parameters. So instead of creating tuples and dictionaries, you can use pre-existed excuse me, you can use pre-existing ones as your parameters as well. So let's go ahead and let me just show you guys what this means because uh, it's the easiest way. Let's go ahead and create an example. So define an example function that's going to take three parameters, A, B, and C. And we want this, uh, let's just have return A plus B times C or something like that. No, not A, C, C. A plus B times C. Good enough. All right. Now, once that's created, what do we want to do? So that takes three parameters and returns um, some math function. Doesn't really matter what the math function is. Then say instead of creating a tuple, you already have a tuple named tuna. And let's throw some numbers in there: five, seven, three, and go ahead and press enter to create that. Now what you can do is you can throw this tuple inside this as the parameters. So let's go ahead and write example and you just don't write tuna here anytime you use a tuple you have to write that little star before it. and remember star means you're working with the tuple two stars means you're working with the dictionary since this is a tuple uh, this will do just fine so go ahead and press enter and it takes the numbers from tuna 5 plus 7 times 3 and that equals 26 so that is how you can use a tuple and throw in your parameters for a function so next I'm going to show you guys how to do this with a dictionary and uh, this is a little um, different but it's kind of the same so pay attention first we want to define uh, something we can use with a dictionary and it's not going to be a math function so let's go ahead and name this example 2 just so we don't get anyone confused and um, let's go ahead and have it take one parameter called this and I forgot a semicolon so let's go ahead and define example 2 and let's not forget our semicolon next time this and excuse me colon and uh, let's go ahead and just print it out so print this so once we have that function created example 2 we need a dictionary because that's what I'm going to teach you guys um, so let's go ahead and make a dictionary called bacon you can name yours whatever you want and let me populate this mom um, 32 and dad uh, 54 let's go and now we have um, a function that takes one parameter a dictionary parameter and we also have a dictionary right here so if you're gonna guess what I'm gonna do next then uh, well just pay attention anyways so we have example two which takes one dictionary parameter we also have a dictionary called bacon and remember when you're using dictionary you use two asterisks so let's go ahead and throw bacon this dictionary into this function example and see what happens it runs through the um, function which is print this and prints the dictionary which is bacon so um, this is kind of a simple example but I just wanted to show you guys that you can actually use tuples and dictionaries not only when you create a function but you can also use them as the parameters inside a function and that's useful when you're gathering data from an outside source and you wanna do something to it like uh, alter it in a certain way and also print it out to your users so that is how you do that gather information from tuples and dictionaries so um, I hope you guys learn how to do that so thank you guys for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time